Hi everyone, welcome back to Learn Nomad Technologies YouTube channel. My name is Ankush. So today's lecture is going to be really interesting because I'm going to show you how to start the Oracle Data Guard environment. So whenever you go for an interview, uh, definitely there will be a question based on the Oracle Data Guard, and that is the reason this topic is very very important. So I'm going to show you how you can start your primary database. I'll show you how you can start your standby database, and that too practically. So this lecture is going to be really really interesting for you again before i show you practically uh, if you are interested to join our oracle db training with learnomet where you will understand each and every concept practically heretically and in a very easy manner you can reach out to the learnomet so let us try to understand how you can start your data guard environment so currently i have already data guard is installed in my system i have one primary database and I have one standby database is there. So, okay, so you can see my screen here, right? Uh, let me see. So this is my primary session, this is my standby session. I will change the color also so that you people will not get confused that where I'm writing down the commands. So if I want to start my primary database, primary database will be behave like a single instance database only. So you can just connect to the SQL plus slash SSDB and simplify a starter command. So your primary database will be always up and running and your people like the users, those who want to connect to the database, they will always get connected to the primary database. And if I check the role, select database underscore role from V dollar database. So here my database role is primary. This is always up and running. Now you can start the listener also LSNRCTL start and your listener name. I already have a listener which is running with the name listener only. So I don't need to start the listener. I'll go to the standby. Standby again, you get connected to the SQL plus utility. First of all, start your database into the no amount stage. Remember that your standby database will be always not running unless and until you have active data guard license. So I just started my database into the no amount stage. Then what I will do? I'll mount the database alter database mount with the standby control file standby database database and then if you want to use it as active data guard you can open the database also alter database open so this database get open with the read only options you cannot perform read right here so if you just check select database underscore role from v dollar database you can see here that this is a physical standby database make sure you have listener also running here because listener play a very very important role to make sure that your both the database are in sync um you can start your mrp process here because the changes which are coming from primary will be applied on the standby with the help of mrp process so how to start the mrp alter database recover manage m-a-n-a-g-e-d recover manage m-a-n-a-g-e-d standby database disconnect from session so this way i'll start my mrp process also now if you just want to know whether uh, uh, my changes are getting reflected or not I'll, I'll just create a simple table like let's say create table test uh, let's say I'll, uh, id number 10 okay i'll just insert some data uh, insert into test values let's say i'll insert 10 here and i'm inserting some records here now if i go there i'll do the commit I'll just see the record select star from test on primary. I just created this test table on primary. Okay, let me see whether I can see that table on standby. I can see that table on the standby also. So this is a magic. By any chance, if your database, primary database is not available, maybe corrupted or any disaster kind of situation, no problem. You have your data, which is very, very safe on the standby side. So you can perform the failure activity and you can just ask people to connect to the this is your new primary then after the failure activity so that's all about the small concept of data guide environment 
you may have a questions like what is data guard how to configure it can you show this practically we are starting a new batch of oracle db and i know that you people are very very interested to learn about this concept so if you are interested please mention interested in the comment section you can join our whatsapp group the links is available in the chat options you can fill up the google form also and you can reach out to the learnomic team for more details about the oracle database training which we are starting in the next week thank you